Hello, in this video, we will be doing a quick security monitor pop-up animation, here is the overview. It's a bit fast, so I will slow it down, as you can see, with the mesh method the lighting is dark and hard to see the monitor. Anyway, let's go on to making the actor. Go to your gameplay folders, right click, and create a blueprint actor. Name it the security monitor, open the actor, in here, go to your add components and we need a scene component to act as the pivot point. Next, we need an arrow component to know which way this actor is facing. Now on the scene component, add a static mesh. I am going to import a model that I made. Go to your content browser. Make sure all your settings are default, then import it. Now you can go to your static mesh and set it to the monitor. Let's make some location adjustments. This value works for location and rotation. Now if we test rotate the scene pivot, it will rotate like this. I also scaled it down. 0.6 is a better value. Now, give it materials. Screen can just be unlit black, could make a part 2 for live screen. With that done, go to your event graph. Add in a timeline. Call it pull up. Double click it to open the timeline. Press the float track. Name this alpha. At the top there is a length, put it to the speed of how fast you want the animation to be. 0.2 is fine. Add a keyframe. The first keyframe, time is 0 and value is 0. The second key. Time is 0.2 and value is 1. Now back in the event graph, you have your values. Now we can get your scene comp and set relative rotation. Right click that rotator and split structure. Quickly experiment to see which value you need to change. For me, it was the Y axis. So here, you would add a lerp. Put B as 90 or another value. Then connect alpha to the timeline. Now above we need a custom event to play the timeline. Add a branch. The input will be the condition. The input name is play. Now, this is optional but I add a play sound at location for the monitor pull up sound down. The location will be get actor location. I also change other settings in there so this node works nicely. On true, we want to get our timeline pull and from there, we need the play node. For false, we need the reverse node. I changed the input name. Now go to your player class. Now I will be adding this as a child actor on the add components list. The child actor is the security monitor. Now you need to place it in a good location so when it plays animation, it covers your screen. If it's too big, go back to your mesh and scale it down. Now back into your player class and on event begin play, at the end. We need a reference to our class. Get your child actor from component, from there you need to get child actor reference. After, use the child actor to cast to security monitor. Right click and promote that cast to a variable of type security monitor. Make sure the code is linked up and then we can go search for your player widget with that security hover button. Find your code for this section. If you go to false, we can get player pawn. We need to make an interface function so we can get reference to the monitor variable. Find your interface and add in the function. Name it get monitor reference. Add in your output. Call it monitor. The variable type is your security monitor. You can now compile and save your interface. Now in your player blueprint, if you have your interface added, you should have this function appear. Open it and put your monitor variable as the return value. Now in the UI, get your player pawn and get monitor reference function. Have enough space to write this. First from that event call the play anim function that we created and really important to tick that play boolean. Now we want to add a delay. The delay is the length of your animation. Now on true, you want to do something similar at the end. Add the delay if you want. It's not as important here. Next. Just copy and paste that play animation code. Now you can just untick the play boolean. Finally, 
just play around with your office lighting so you can see the monitor or use emissive materials. Alright, test the game. But I want to quickly make a few changes. Go to your monitor and double click the timeline. Change your last keyframe to time of 1 second. Change length of animation to also 1 second. This should allow us to control it easier. Now go to your event begin play. Get your pull animation and set play rate. The value get a divide. Top value is 1, the bottom value is the float variable and call it animation length. Set the value to your length that fits. I kept mines at around 0.2. Go to your widget hover function and on false. For the delay, you can add in your time length. Now you could connect it or subtract 0.05 seconds of it. Now for the above. The delay can stay and you can delete that or change it 0.1. Finally, test the game with these changes and make your adjustments. If it works then great. Comment below for any help or join the discord. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing, see you in the next video.